Hi, my name is Serena, and you're cooking with Serena my way. It's my way of cooking things. Um, I don't know, I'm not no fancy chef. I'm not, any, you know, I'm just a normal lady. Cooks for her family almost every day. And, you know, and they enjoy cooking, eating good foods. So that's what I do. So today, I'm making a squash casserole, which I already started the squash i've chopped it up yellow squash now i'm not no crazy other stuff yellow squash chop it up real good put it in your pan let it boil for a while till it's nice and tender put a little salt in there then you take your onion take a yellow onion don't matter what kind of onion it is as long as it ain't the purple one because it ain't gonna work out that's like for salads and stuff like that um you chop up your onion pretty good and a bell pepper don't matter what color it is because it's all it tastes the same to me and chop it up and saute it in a skillet take your uh, olive oil you know in a non-stick skillet then you put your half a stick of butter in there and just saute it pretty good and then um, while you're sauteing your onions you boil your squash and you drain your water from your squash and then um Okay, then I already got a cup of mayonnaise, and we're gonna what we're gonna do? We're going to um, take it with the mayonnaise, the two eggs, and some shredded cheese, and that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, real quick. Um, I'm using the salad bowl because we're. We moved in this house, a lot of my other stuff's in the old house. So, but I still got a lot of stuff here, so I'm not gonna cry about it. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, crack your eggs. Make sure that there's no shells in your food because it's gonna be nasty. See, simple procedure and go easy like that. Wow. Okay, and then where's my other egg? Brown eggs are the best. They are good for you, and they're so much better. Brown eggs, definitely the best. So, I'm going to bust that one open and let it go. As I say, let it rip. <laughs> but, um, okay. And then, you go ahead and add your mayonnaise. So, what we're going to do, get a mixer over here. Mixer. Okay, and then, I'm going to take this and break all that crap off there okay and then this is a whole cup of mayonnaise and it looks like that but I didn't count it off I mean don't take a rocket scientist to pick that thing out though I don't think but that is and something's wrong okay I'll take my fancy spoon I'm gonna tell you guys something you guys if, if you live what part I don't know what part of the country whatever but like here down here in the western Kentucky, not the hills, the western Kentucky. <laughs> and, uh, you know, because we're not, you know, ain't no hillbillies down here. There's maybe some rednecks, as they call them, but to me, people just people. I don't care what they are. They're colored polka dot, um, whatever. It's, it's whatever. I'm not racist. I wasn't brought up like that, so. You know, I know I've been through a lot with some people, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> but, okay, we're mixing. <clears throat> I'm combining the mayo and the two eggs, okay? So that's what we're doing. Then we're going to add the cheese. What we're going to do with it? Oh, duh. <laughs> okay. You can use whatever brand, as long as it's not imitated. If you use imitation cheese, it's going to taste like a plastic, as they say, a plastic casserole. And this is, this ain't imitation, because you can see a little ball of milk down there, so that's real. So we're going to just throw that in there like that, because that's what you're supposed to do. And we just mix it up, like that. Feels like I'm missing something here. What am I mixing here? Forgetting. I am. Um, I don't know. I think uh, some pepper. 
I think that's what we're missing, some pepper. And if you guys are particular about pepper, I am. I like this coarse ground pepper by McCormick's. This is so good, and it gives it a flavor. So I'm gonna add just a dash and some parsley. The parsley, today, I love parsley. It makes your food look pretty, I think. Some people be like, ooh, you know, but it's just, you know, whoever's eating it. <laughs> so let's see it. Um, let's see if I can find it. I got a whole bunch of crap in here, so. That's chives. We don't put chives in that at all. Let's see. I think I have. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. That's the chives again. issues. Tonight is a quiet night and that's why I'm doing this because any other night I would not be able to do it because I can't. And be like a big no no. Okay here's some parsley. I usually got this other brand that I buy in the produce department and it's this right here. Um, Okay, this has got garlic, but this right here, I usually buy, I know it's backwards, but this is the, the best spices to get. And then Guam comes with McCormick's good too, so I use both. I ain't, you know, whatever. All right, here we go. Put a little parsley in here. I ain't got that much in there. Parsley makes it pretty. That's what I always think. Parsley is pretty you know, whatever. Alright, we're going to mix it up. Then we're going to go get the onions and stuff. Alrighty. See, because I done already did this. This is what that looks like. See? Alright, then we're going to carefully. We don't want to get big or hard and dump it off in the side of the floor. That'd be a nasty mess. Some people are saying, gosh, you're cooking ghetto. Well, you know what? This is not ghetto. This is just an easy way of doing things. You know, you're cooking on pennies. These days, the food is so high. So you got to, like, emphasize, grow you a garden. Your garden right there will save you a lot of money. I know it's going to cost some to plant a garden. But when you grow them vegetables, you're going to be like, oh, wow. So, it is really worth it, if you, you know, being for real. Last year, we grew a garden, and of course, I don't know, it did good, so I ain't worried about it. I mean, we did a good job on it. I done it. I did it. Anyway, this is some crazy day. Alright, so now what we're going to do, since I already did all this, and you got a salt and pepper it. So what salt should I use? Should I use fine salt? Or should I use kosher salt? Mommy? Fine salt or kosher salt? Fine salt. See, I've got... Yep. Okay, we're going to go with fine salt. So what I'm going to do, i got to find my salt. <laughs> But, um, see right here, here's regular salt. I'm going to use a teaspoon if I can find them. I don't know where my teaspoons went. Imagine that. We had some teaspoons, I don't know where they're at. So I can get an idea. Alright, we'll, we'll just um, eyeball it. I want you to do it. But we don't want to over salt it, okay? So let's eyeball it like like this, okay? Put your paw in the hand. Okay, if you want to go like, I'm going to show you this. If you want to go like this, that'd be good. I mean, it just depends on your liking. Okay? 
And then pepper. Gosh, pepper is awesome. It's a, a yummy spice that I'm glad that it was invented. Um, well, it wasn't invented. It grows somewhere in another country somewhere. I don't know if the United States... <laughs> It shows how much I pay attention in, in history class. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit more. Because, you know, you're making a, a casserole. And then I got to... And for a minute, let me preheat. We're going to burn that. Preheat. Okay. 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 Because you gotta bake it 35 minutes. Alright, here we're gonna do. We're going to. Alright, hold on for a minute. I'm gonna do it with my super spoon. There it is. There we go. And I always buy, I like name brand stuff. Just like this break stones. So I like name brand stuff. You want this one to be included. You don't want junk in your food if you're going to cook. No, I don't. I mean, that's a nightmare right there. Okay. See, I don't already sprayed the thing. So, um, okay, now i got to pour this in with the mixture. See how that goes? Okay. Like boom, boom, boom. So we're gonna mix all this together like this. God, I bet this is gonna be so good. I mean, I'm not even a psychic or a fortune teller, but uh, you just can tell. And being that I don't have Ritz crackers, because I don't, I keep forget forgetting to buy them. But, you know what, I, a little trick I learned, like you can take regular crackers and you can butter them, you know, it's a suggestion. Or you can use like, um, uh, what do you call it, um, townhouse, I had some of them, they're gone. Alright, okay, let's pour in this dish, here we go. Pour it. Well, wait a minute, just one more thing. Oh my. Okay. Okay. More pepper. I don't know if I should really use more salt or not. I don't want to taste like crap. <laughs> We're going to pour it in here. And we're going to spread it apart like we're spreading out a cake. Okay. This is what it looks like. Spread it out. See? Okay. And, okay, I'll take a drink, I'm sorry. You gotta have your sweet tea. I'm gonna start making my own, but this is not, this is commercial crap. It's, um, what's the name of this tea? Um, <laughs> when you have MS, you're gonna forget a lot of stuff, so. What was the name of this tea? Uh, anyway, it don't matter. It's still good. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to... This is what I'm going to do. And watch this. This is a little trick. Here's a trick. This is parquet. 
which is just one of my favorite, what do you want to call it, kind of, you know, I like blue bonnet and all that crap, but I like parquet. See, this stuff is like, you know, you remember the commercials back in the 70s where the little bow would talk, you know, have a mouth. I bet back in the 70s, a lot of people did acid and stuff. They probably thought they were tripping or something. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to pour this in there because I've got to have buttered, buttered crap. Okay, I'm going to close it up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to go. That's a trick. I don't know where I learned this at, but when you ain't got like those crackers and stuff, and just take some regular crackers, squirt some whatever kind of favorite butter you like, and just go in there and start squishing around. Yeah, oh god. Okay. Okay, let's get this right. Let's go back over here. Alright, I guess it's good enough, right? Let me move this parquet bottle out of the way. Alright, now we're gonna like, let's try this. Your hands will get kind of messy, but I washed mine all the damn time. I mean, I didn't mean <laughs> Okay. I'm getting there. See how I'm doing this? You don't have to have rats when you can just do it on your own little hack. You know, like, just like broccoli and cheese casserole, which I love too. And it's a big winner around right here. It's like my son and his fiance <clears throat> wants me to make them up. Well, I mean, they're getting their own stuff, but let me make the taco soup, which is really delicious. Because I made it a long time ago, and my son fell in love with it. That's, I don't know, he loves anything I cook, but... Alright. Okay, we're going to pat that. And look at that. I mean, just look at this, man. I mean, just look. A squash casserole. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Well, my it's messing up. Okay. Sorry for the interference. What's happening? There you go. I always want my phone. I gotta get a new one. I usually I need to get in my I, I got a tablet. I probably start using that until I can whatever. But yeah, we got this going on and it looks really awesome. All I gotta wait for my stove to go beep 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 so I can cook. Let's just spread a little bit. There we go. Anyway, um. And let's, let's see, did it already be? Hold on. Did it already be, Bobby? Okay. Why is what preheating? Just want to tell you guys, I appreciate you guys if you do watch this. And it'll get better as it goes along. Right now, I'm just starting out. And. There's my cue. So let's go stick it in the oven. Okay. 35 minutes. Bobby, want to time that? Have you got a timer? Okay. My hubs is going to time it. He's got a timer. And 35 minutes. And. 
you know, like I said, as time goes on, it'll get a lot better. We'll have more better technology when I got. But like I said, I'm just starting out. I don't expect the, you know, and I don't want no. If you're gonna give me some negative comments, and they will get deleted. I don't. I don't like negative. So, positive is the best way to go in life, not negative. So, um, what? I thought you, you had it outside and then. Well, anyway, I um, appreciate you joining me and hope that next time around things will be. I have more camera effects. Oh, he's got the timer. He found one. I think it's a brown one scent in the box. And. If anything, you got any if you any pointers, put down in the comments. Or anything, put down in the comments that's positive, not negative. And, you know, push like and subscribe if you think you like this video. Because there's going to be more to come and be a lot better and more together, you know. I'm just... And like I said earlier, I made a pot roast, and this is what it looks like. I cooked it in a pot in a crock pot. The meat's underneath it, but I should put the vegetables underneath the meat. But we just put it together. That's our supper, and okay, 35 minutes, yeah. And the squash casserole, the that's gonna be our supper tonight, and. I'm glad, I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me my making all this stuff. And, and then, like I said, in the near future, I'll have more stuff to fix. Just right now, just starting out. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And like I said, like and subscribe. Until then, thank you. And have a blessed day. Day and a weekend or weekday. Did I say weekend? <laughs> you gotta laugh, keep from crying. So I always make a lot of boo boos, but I'm just all in fun. Huh? Get back when done. I'll bring. Yeah, I'll, when once the that's done, I'll bring it back and y'all can see it and you can think. You can be like, oh, okay, yeah, she can cook, yeah. But yeah, I can, but you know, I just, um, just starting to do this, because I thought, you know, what's a better time to start cooking when nobody's home, you know, especially my daughter, because she's, you know, like yesterday I was gonna make some, I made some uh, baked beans really the good way, you know, homemade, and she completely contaminated with, you know, she was, she's got Tourette's syndrome, okay? <laughs> I hate to say it like that. She don't really, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. Because she is something else, I'll tell you. But anyway, but I'm glad. Um, let me pause this, and then when I'm, let me let you go for a second, and then when that's done, I'll Years ago, where she was like.
last night he went to go see his girlfriend. You know, you Keep on going. I'm gonna, like cooking, you know, like a hobby. I like to do some vlogs. I like to go look at, you know, like I don't know if you guys do or not, but I mean, sometimes I'm going to go across historic stuff. And I don't know if you guys are into that or not. It's so kind of fun. We live in Western Kentucky, and there's all kinds of historic groundwork here. Living in Elkton, they're so country, and I adapted to 
but so you can tell I have I usually use Duke's, you know, it's southern kind, but he doesn't like it. He said it tastes weird. So, I bought blue plate, and plus I got Miracle Whip in there too. And, um, so, and I'm going to use relish in there to mix it up instead of using vinegar. I mean, a lot of people like vinegar. I did when I was a kid. I love vinegar with my greens and spinach and stuff like that. But then I got older and boom. You know, I changed. So let's check the eggs. I'll show you where I'm going with the eggs. My eggs are boiling. I got one. I got like five eggs, which they cut in half. And just like I said, just me and him tonight. So that's all we need, really. And if you're wondering a while ago, you see my cat bow? You see all this right here? My cat likes to. What you, would you say she does? She... Roots it. She roots it like, uh, oh, like she just, my cat's weird. Our other Siamese did it too. My, we had another Siamese cat and she was so beautiful. And if I can show pictures, I would, but, um, she was a beautiful blue eyes Siamese chocolate point or whatever we call it. And we had her up till she was 13 and she went outside and we don't know what happened to her. And my guess is something got a hold of her. Well, long story short, I got so tore up over it, and I did. I, I was upset about it. But then here comes Gypsy, which I promised a really good friend of mine that I give her a good home. And right now she's keying herself because she's dirty as usual. Crazy cat, but Gypsy... Gypsy, come here. She's like, no, you come here. Look at my hair. Look wild. Gypsy, would you like to come say hello? You want a treat? She loves to wear a treat because her other owner, her mom, other mama, spooled her on treats. I'm her mama too, but I'm a, I'm a foster mama. <laughs> What would you call that? If you got any comments, put below. <laughs> but yeah, I'm her mama. I mean, we we uh, absorbed a lot in her. You know, here she comes. Trotty trot. I'm going to show you here she comes. There's my kitty cat. Look at that. There she is. She just woke up. Look at Gypsy. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, y'all. I know it's about cooking things, but I'm going to show off my beautiful kitty. Ain't she pretty, y'all? There's a glare on her. But she is my precious, beautiful cat. And the sad thing about it, I can't get another cat because she wants to be the only one. So, Alright, Gypsy, say hello. Gypsy? There she goes. Oh. That's what you see in my life. I got my kitty, and I got my Bobby, 
Where did he go? Right there. But, you know, like I said, it's been, we've been over 20-something years now. And you would think, I've changed so much since in my uh, 20s when I first met him. I don't look nothing like I do. Oh, my God. I gained, got fat. Um, but I got under uh, underactive thyroid. So that explains why I'm gaining weight. Then I found I had MS. And that's why I have a hard time talking sometimes and my mobility is messed up. I had to get a total joint knee replacement. It's because where I did a lot of falling. Plus I got the osteoarthritis that's eating my joints up. So but anyway, I just wanted to be here, cook for y'all and show you things. But if I bore you, comment below. But no cuss words or nothing. I'm sorry. I mean, I cuss sometimes, but I don't get on, I don't get on somebody's comments and start cussing them because that's not, that's not nice. God don't like ugly, you know. So, anyway, um, I think it's about how long has it been now, Bobby? Almost 20 minutes. One minute. We got one minute left. A minute and 17. Okay, you guys got a minute and 17 seconds for that to come out of the oven that you guys helped me cook. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but when he rose his eyes, like, oh my gosh, she's just crazy. And he's crazy too, so we're crazy, happy, crazy. <laughs> oh my god. But alright. We're gonna have to get our hot muffins. I mean, I tell you one time I burnt the crap out of my hand. I touched a pan by we got 30 seconds. It's a countdown. <laughs> I'd have a drink. I'm supposed to be diabetic, type 2. I'm not supposed to have sugar, but then the doctor, which, you know, I need to find a regular doctor. I have this, um, or, well, I don't know what she is. And she says, then I'm not a diabetic no more, so I don't get it, so. It's ready. <gasps> Here we go. Okay. Look at this, you guys. Look at that's the squash casserole. I know it's not Ritz crackers, but I buttered the crackers, so take a look at that.
and any helpful tips put down in the comments. All right, thank you. Thank you for cooking. And have a good morning.